All right, December 4th, 2011, part two of Presidential War Candidate. I come up with all these titles because, you know, how do I track people to see these things? Actually, probably the government's been watching it. I noticed the last two videos I did, I know I, know I, I, I recognize or I know one of the people that definitely watched it. I can identify one, but the other three, I have no idea. And another one was like four people. So I, I don't know, you know, it's like, and then I, people left me a comment, you know. But, you know, instead of leaving comments, like I said, why don't you talk to your friends? Why don't you form a coalition behind me? It's, you know, I have nothing to lose. They've already, the government of the United States, state, federal, and especially local, has taken every one of my possessions and forced me into a life of slavery. I mean, that's not, that's not freedom. That's the form of abstract slavery. And why? I, you know, my real, my real, in, I guess, my real guess at why they've done all this to me is not necessarily the laws. I think it's just, I think Young mentioned that there's a subconscious collective. And I think subconsciously people are looking for a monarchy. Um, they really are subconsciously and I'll explain it to you it mana usually when fads start they it starts first on a subconscious level have you ever noticed how many cloth manufacturers have been pasting crowns on t-shirts caps I mean everywhere you go it's like it's not just now it's over the last few years and I think people are really moving back towards a monarchy, but with my monarchy, I have to guarantee the people something. And I guarantee you, the first thing I'll do, if the whole United States just puts aside their opposing feelings about me, forget the national media because they are crooked as, as crooked can be, as crooked as the politicians, as crooked as all. When they put on an argument about a candidate or they attack somebody, or they, they air something about a candidate and try to pose themselves as neutral. We're just doing our job as the news. They're, they're on the same boat as them. The major news media CEOs all go to the Bilderberg meetings. These are people that set the policy for the next year or two or number of years. These, these people have control. And the only way you can take their control away is take your money out of the bank, don't pay your taxes, if everyone revolts with me, and, and you don't have to do it violently, you don't have to raise, you don't have to march on the streets, you don't have to, unless I appear and I'm going to talk, and then I'm going to be afraid for my life, even with Secret Service protection. Do you know Secret Service will only show up and protect a candidate who raises an audience, a huge audience, and the bigger the audience, the more they get involved because they realize it's, li it's really liability for them because if a candidate, even if they're unknown, gets shot or killed, they're responsible for the safety of that candidate and the news media is just going to jump on that like crazy. Of course, the candidate is either crippled, maimed, or, or dead, and then it's over. But, you know, this, I could talk about this forever. I'm really kind of tired of talking about it, you know, because you people don't care. You want to change your country. You get together with your brothers, your sisters, your fathers, your mothers, and you say, look, and listen to this guy. He has done the, listen to the last videos especially because he's trying to show you an example. That's me. I'm trying to show you an example of what happens to a person when you abuse them like this. Even if they were doing wrong, if the wrong was a menial zoning law, that doesn't mean bring out the big guns and destroy a person and, and knock them down to the bottom of the financial ladder. This is outright evil. And somebody has to stop it. And I'm willing to stop it, but only if the people, the, the, the absolute majority of the people say, we want you to be our emperor. Screw the presidency. Screw the electoral college. We're tired of electing these people the way they are. They've manipulated us for years. Be you rich, poor, middle class, it behooves you to take control of these morons that are running things. You got too many cooks in the kitchen. Just think think about it logically. You've got too many cooks in the kitchen. Why are you voting for these people? They're idiots. All of them. 
whatever good even a plan of action whatever good they talk about even if they put a few wheels of good into motion the evil that they do on the sidelines outdoes the good as Emperor of the United States I guarantee every citizen that I will immediately compose and arrange for immediate public release the beginnings of a bill that will show this country more than any other country in the world no one's ever done this how to overthrow your government legitimately and without violence I will institute that law as the first bill and the first act that I will do because these people are out of control that's why you got no jobs I mean think about it for a minute Ser seriously sit down if you ran a business would you like somebody to come and tell you you have to start hiring people no the government has to figure out a roundabout way to to create incentives to give your business or to help your business hire more people so it looks better in the newspaper who gives a hell what the newspaper or the media says I couldn't care less about them all they do is report garbage I mean George Washington died in a sleep mentioning how badly he was treated by the media I mean that's no secret go back and check your history you'll find out but then Washington wasn't our own wasn't our first real president technically speaking highly technically he was not our real president if the name uh, Peyton Randolph should ring a bell then then you'll know who was our first real president but anyway but the point I'm making is that you've got a situation that you know with the 99 percenters you know like I said I talked down there they didn't get behind me they didn't they couldn't care I they said if you have any announcements come up I announced that I was a presidential candidate people sat there going dumbfounded like nobody said anything nobody cheered nobody clapped just because nobody knows me why should you have to know a person to understand their values because that's how friendships are made but no matter what a person says that doesn't mean they're gonna do it look at Adolf Hitler he said he was gonna do this and do that and bring Germany back to its rotation and and he, and he attacked the Jews to do it but you have the innate ability to control any government just by not putting your money in the bank if the majority unanimous majority of the people in the United States that have money in the bank took their money out of the banks banks would fold immediately the war was would stop dead cold if you took and didn't pay any of your taxes but I guarantee you if you institute some kind of takeover that's legitimate and you overthrow help help me to overthrow this country because I can't do it by myself if and if you're not going to do that then if you're listening to this video talk to some rich friend or somebody and say listen this guy has been abused for more than 20 years they have hurt this guy they have took his property his his all of his plans his dream, dreams his goals have been destroyed not one time many times by all these people and let me pass the hat and please give me some money so I can leave why do you people watch my videos and make comments and not do one the one compassionate thing I call you all killers you pay you rather pay taxes and kill children in other countries than to give me any money so I can get the hell out of here because I don't want to carry your karma I think I've had all this bad luck because of what you people have done you create a bad karma on such a gigantic level that it affects good people it destroys them and you want to live in a contaminated atmosphere with people that do this kind of thing go ahead but you've no right to keep me prisoner here so one oh I could leave sure but I have to leave everything behind that I worked for for 30 years that hasn't been taken from me already and believe me a lot of stuff has been taken from me stuff that was mine stuff that I had the right to give away or sell or throw away or whatever it was that's why I call this country it's the Borg it's an abstract dictatorship my dictatorship would no be nowhere near resembling what accusations I make to the current administrations the past administrations and you're in general bullcrap society 
I don't want to be on TV anymore. I want to go enjoy something about what is left in my life. Something that you people have already destroyed. So, and yeah, you're the person. If you're, if you're a U.S. citizen, you pay taxes. It's a collective. And your contribution to that system helped to destroy my life. It put authorities and peoples in motion that use the color of law to hurt my life and violate my civil rights. Do I have $300 an hour to pay some blood-sucking attorney to try and defend me at the local level? I have to file a case and take seven years to get to the Supreme Court to prove that I'm right, that my civil rights were violated repeatedly over and over and over and over again by the police, the L.A. Fire Department, the, the, the Building and Safety, the, 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 uh, the abatement divisions. All these people are sick sick beyond your wildest dreams and they take it out on people like me of course you know if you people were to get behind me you'd see a lot of action on the news you'd probably see building and safety people quitting immediately because I'm coming to power because I'm completely being installed with absolute power I guarantee you there would be probably hundreds of people rushing to the passport agency to get a passport to leave the country and of course the media would be there to take an interview and they'd all be saying oh we're getting out of this country this madman these people are crazy they're all put this madman in office good when they leave this place is going to become a garden of eden because the right person is running things these people are all mutts not they are nuts and you don't get it you you want to just the only reason you're not doing anything about it and there are many, many varied reasons why you're not doing anything about it. And we're into 11 minutes and 48 seconds, so I don't have very many minutes left. And I'm only going to do, and this is my second recording, I'm only going to do this. You know, it's a joke. On top of it, my health has been affected. My life has already been destroyed. I will institute a bill that will tell the people how, state by state, how to overthrow not only your state government but your federal government if it is becomes out of control it is time and it's not you know i hate to say a redundant statement it's time for change you know that's what obama used for his that campaign what kind of change <laughs> that's what everybody should have been asking what kind of change um you know it isn't your answers are not going to be in the Democrats or Republicans or the independent parties. They're going to be in one person who has kept his head together long enough to not lose it. And guaranteed, with all the stuff I've told you on my videos, if I haven't lost it yet, then there must be a lot of strength in me. And that's the kind of individual you need to run your federal, state, and local governments. To give that individual the power to intervene in a local affair, to erase the sovereignty of local institutions, bureaucracies that violate people's civil rights and make a person have to become a second slave to some attorney to fight for their civil rights. You know, all those people that are buried in Arlington Cemetery, they died fighting Adolf Hitler. And then the United States hired Nazis to come here, they pretty much took them prisoner and made them work here under more ease, easy conditions and they were hiring murderers like you, that tape I showed you Frank Durrell look at that tape that says it all so here I am trying to get a point across to you people that the only way and that you are going to change this country is to overthrow it institute some kind of guideline that will put one person immediately in power that way I can introduce that bill and I promise you I, I, I don't have anything to lose I want to introduce this kind of bill that would give you the ability to overthrow any individual any dictator that they could not use force against you they'd have to step down voluntarily if things go wrong and they are going wrong right now they're going wrong like you would not believe well, what time is it oh it's 14 minutes 32 seconds well I'm gonna have to sign off I, I, I can't convince you I don't I don't have a way of publicizing my name reality supreme being or HRM Caesar St. Augustine de Buenaparte and and have the national media turn their cameras to me because that's what they should be doing without censorship because I won't give them any any right to publish anything without me 
okaying the airing of whatever I've said. Thank you. Talk to you later.